Stop being this high school dropout. Stop giving up. Stop sleeping on the streets. Stop walking up and down Finkel Avenue like you ain't got nothing and get your GED. Stop being afraid to take a test. Stop being afraid to go to college because your daddy didn't go and your mama didn't go. I don't do well in math. You're right. You ain't never studied. I'm not good in writing because you have never written before. You can't get through a writing class and you got tutor after tutor, resource after resource. The problem is you ain't never felt no pain before. You're soft. It's a soft generation. You quit on everything. You have to give it everything you got. No more TV, no more parties, no more playing. If you don't have a 4.0, what you need to be doing is study. You're a sophomore. You're like, yeah, I'm just a sophomore. Or I'm just a freshman. Like, I got time, you know, to put it in another gear. But you don't realize this, that the opportunity that you need is in your sophomore year. It's not in your senior year. Listen to me. You're running out of time. The next time you give a low effort, right, you give it 70% or 50% or 30%, I want you to think about what you're thinking about when your effort is low. And you're probably thinking, I got to versus I get to. Listen to me. If, if, if your effort is low, you're probably not thinking about the opportunity. You're probably thinking about the obligation. Because success is allergic to average. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Success and average don't have nothing to do with each other. So you can't say you want to be successful. You can't say there's certain dreams and goals, there are things you want to have and things you want to be if you are still average. You got to get to the point where you get allergic to average. You don't think average. You don't perform average. Success and average have absolutely nothing to do with each other. That's what I'm telling you. Your teacher can't stand average. Nobody really likes average. And the problem with a lot of you is you're not allergic to average, all right? You got to do me a huge favor, man. You're lying to yourself. On one point, you said you want to be great. You want to do great things. You want to have greatness. You want to be great. Listen to me. But on the other hand, for real, for real, you comfortable with average. You cannot be average any longer. Why? Because average attracts average. When I'm telling you to be great, because when you're great, you attract great. When you're average, you attract average. So I need you to do me a favor. I need you to get off average, right? I need you to get off average. You ain't got to rely on nobody to get off average but you. I don't care what nobody else in your family is doing. I don't care what your teacher doing. I don't care what's going on in your school, what kind of school you have, what kind of job you have. Just because the people are average around you don't mean you got to be average. You don't count the cost on this one. You don't count the cost on this one. You, you just do what you got to do on this one, and then you look back when it's all over and you see the rewards. You look back and you see the accomplishments. You don't count it. You just look back and you see that you succeeded. Everybody got a dream. Everybody got a goal. What's the gap? Every, if everybody got one, if everybody wake up the beginning of the year and say, this is their year, then why is it some people year and not other people year? You know why? I said it before. It don't got nothing to do with your dreams and goals. Everybody got a dream. Everybody got a goal. The question is, when you wake up in the morning, what effort are you putting forth? Everybody with a dream and a goal ain't giving 120. And some people might be giving it on Monday, but they ain't giving it on Tuesday. And some people giving it 100, and, listen to me, 127 days of the week, 365 days. I want you to work on your mind. 
For real, education is the most important thing in your life. I didn't say degrees. I'm not just talking about going to school and get a degree. I'm talking about getting knowledge. Knowledge is power. Information changes situations.